What's up everybody? Today we are going to resurface our garage concrete floor. This house was built in 1985. So this is the original floor of the garage. And as you can see, it's kind of cracked. It has some oil stains. It's actually cracked pretty bad. And the biggest problem with it is that when you walk into the house from the garage, you track in a little bit of dust because this thing is chipping, peeling. And that's been the biggest concern. Other than that, I don't really care too much about it. But anyway, I found out about the stuff called uh, rapid set concrete resurfacer and i saw a youtube video online i'm pretty handy i'm actually uh really handy i've never done anything like this before but i'm like well let's give it a shot how hard can it be the youtube video that i saw made it look pretty easy so i figured we do that so the first step is to prep the floor now this floor had like some dried up old gum spots, uh, dried up paint, and some other odd things sticking up. So some odd tools that I had on hand in the basement, I used them first to uh, sort of, you know, get that stuff off the floor because it was hard and it was not moving. The next thing I did was use a blower to blow out a lot of the dust and debris. After that, I got some concrete surface cleaner. I used this to get up a lot of the oil spots and just in general to scrub down the concrete surface and give it, get it nice prepped and clean before we apply our new surface. Next, we added some water. After that, we scrubbed the entire floor and there was a lot of scrubbing involved. A lot of scrubbing, a lot of scrubbing. After the scrubbing was done, we used a power washer to power wash the rest of the concrete floor. Now the very next day, after the floor dried, I used a, an air compressor to air out the dust and the cracks. After that, we caulked the cracks with some concrete crack filler. After every crack was caulked, we flattened out the caulk with a paint scraper. And FYI, I don't know if this, you know, caulk filling crack step was necessary because we're gonna go over the whole thing anyway and cover, every, cover the cracks up with the new resurfacer, but someone recommended that I do this, so that's why I did it. After this step, we waited another 24 hours for the caulk to completely dry. It felt like it was dry after a couple hours, but I just waited 24 just to make sure. I mean, I think caulk te technically may take even longer than that, but after 24 hours, we decided to apply the concrete resurfacer. So according to the box, we are on step three, mixing. It says use clean portable water, mix four parts new concrete to one part water. New concrete may be mixed using 2.5 to three quarts of water per 25 pound box. Use less water to achieve higher strengths. Place the mixed water into a mixing container. Add material while mixing. Mix to achieve a lump free uniform consistency. By the way, that's why I had uh, my problem at. I had a hard time getting it lump free. Um, after that, it says usually two to three minutes after mixing, it should be lump free. Do not retemper, mix new concrete uh, mixed new concrete should be used within 30 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So three minutes later, according to the box, this is what it came out looking like. As you can see, it's not lump free. We did mix it longer, uh, tried a couple more things like adding more water, but I wanted mine to come out thick so it can be harder according to the box. Uh, but I was just having a hard time getting all the lumps out. So if you know what I did wrong at doing this part, let me know, put it in the comments below. It's probably something that I did, but this was the result. Next, we're going to apply the new concrete. Now it says apply it to a saturated surface. So we had to uh, re-wet our concrete just to get it a little bit damp. And then we applied the uh, new concrete. Once we poured it out, we used a broom trout, I believe that's what this thing is called, to uh, you know smooth it out. Mm -hmm. 
and we did the same process over and over and over again until we completed the entire garage floor surface. So when it was all said and done, here is the end result. We waited 24 hours before we parked the cars back onto the garage floor. Um, as far as putting stuff in like the lawnmower and every, uh, smaller things, we put that stuff back in within like after like five hours. Um, but yeah, 24 hours later, this is how it looks. Here is a before and after. So you're seeing what I'm seeing. Uh, my biggest problem with this, and if we ignore the streaks, uh, the, the, way, the way that the actual concrete was trout, that's my fault. I could have done a much better job at that, but that's not my biggest problem. The biggest problem I have is the lumps. There are like quite a few lumps uh, all throughout the surface, and I had a hard, hard time getting rid of those. Now, the good news is one month later, um, after I put this stuff down, it did technically get the job done. Uh, it hasn't peeled up or anything. It's still holding down pretty good. And as far as attracting dust in the house from, you know, broken up concrete, it's not doing it anymore. So it has stayed down and it has stayed completely hard. And so we're not having that problem of tracking dust inside the house anymore. So not bad. However, this is only 30 days later as I'm recording this. How is it going to hold up, you know, a year, two years from, from now? I don't know. But so far, so good. If you ask me, my guess is those lumps, some of the bigger ones, are probably going to be a problem. They're probably going to break up uh, prematurely, but time will tell. So overall, I don't know what type of grade to give this product because the lumps could be user error. I'm not sure. I mean, it, this very well could be like a 9 out of 10 uh, product. And maybe I just applied it wrong or maybe I didn't I wouldn't say applied it wrong. Well, I did apply it wrong because actually uh, my streaks aren't all going in the same direction. But that wasn't my concern. I don't really care about that. My concern was the lumps. Um, I could not figure out how to get rid of those lumps. So if you're watching this video and you've put this stuff down successfully and made it look very, very nice, uh, very uniform. Let me know. Let me know what I did wrong. Um, did, I, did I not add enough water? Because I was going for the the. Uh, the thick, hard, hard surface, so I didn't want to add too much water. Um, so I added the bare minimum that it told me to get a, a harder surface. So in conclusion, this product got the job done as far as our number one priority, which was having a dust-free garage floor and no longer, uh, you know, having to sweep our garage floor out every single month or every, you know, couple of weeks really, because it's just it was just so much concrete peeling up. But it doesn't look the best, and that could be attributed to me mixing it wrong so that has been a look at the rapid set new crete uh concrete resurfacer i feel that this is the first project that i failed at in a very long time so take care and thanks for watching